Greetings. Welcome so back quick. to the corruption of Agartha. <gasps> to give off a quick recap of what happened last session, every one of the party members went, well, Cyril's player wasn't here. Cyril, you are here now. So we will go ahead and tell you what your character was doing. For the most part, your character was administering first aid and healing spells were needed and evacuating citizens during the fight with uh, Charles in his Warforged form. Because of Cyril's efforts, there were no casualties whatsoever, along with Death's Embrace and the Razorleaf Monastery. Now, as the party beat Charles within an inch of his life, he dropped Como, or, yeah, Como, <laughs> 100 feet from the ground in an attempt to kill her the same way that he killed Tarok. Como was a It was very mean. Sorry. Uh. <laughs> Dropped Como with an inch of their life, and uh, the same way that they he had killed Turok, revealing that um, Charles had killed his mother inadvertently. Uh, upon that revelation, Charles decided to use his entire the entirety of his kit to leave with the champions in pursuit. One of them doing it so gracefully across the rooftops, while the other was breaking people's houses down. Hello? My bad. Hi. Okay. Gremlins are deciding to play with the internal parts of my computer today. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Now, the party... So, I'm here now. Okay. Uh, the party pursued... Charles escaping with the champions of the city, both Jeremiah and Knack, uh, only to find out that he is way past uh, the point of tracking. As a result, um, the king had Isaac arrested for acts of treason against the kingdom because the Warforged were his concept and to any normal onlooker that looked like one of his experiments. Uh, through evidence that the party had found in the Warforged factory, it linked that the Warforged were actually a perversion of what Isaac had intended to create, killing members of the city and implanting their souls into these machines. On top of that, the trial that happened afterward was went fairly well there were a bunch of outcomes uh ways and outcomes that that could have went towards but through all of your evidence that you collected in the factory and the way you presented them and in the the exact process of which evidence to present you were able to get isaac off not entirely scot-free but with a slap on the wrist basically and now Woo! He is planning a memorial service, not memorializing, more, uh, memorializing the death of the citizens known as the Warforge, but as a celebration of life because they are still technically a part of the king's kingdom. So, um, Julius has ordered that a party of sorts or a festival, a celebration of life be given to his citizens, because he still technically considers them to be his citizens, not his property. Sorry, wrong button. And we uh, found a kinship in the party's rogue and the champion ranger, and the party's barbarian and the champion barbarian. That's not a kinship, they're practically twins. <laughs> Oh, and um, a lot of uh, other stuff went down. Um, Alaric approached Victor about the acquisitions to help make the Devil's Right Hand. Which, as it turns out, needs a lot of gunpowder. Uh, oh, and one of the most keynotes in 
the last session that the party will never, never let Como live down, Fraggy confessed her feelings to Como. And, and in doing proposed. so, claimed Como in front of the entire bar. That was fun. <laughs> As such, you all began to drink, revel, and in relatively enjoy yourselves until a drowish elf walked in the bar, revealing himself to be Draxus. Ah! And that is where we are going to pick up. Fucked up, hey, fucked up, and evil. Awake. When everybody start at once. Oh, I mean, yeah, like, yeah, Andrew Callum. said something. I thought we were, I, I thought we were waiting for the response to him. <laughs> uh, I was waiting for Callum since he's kind of the voice of the party. Uh, Norris was actually the one having a conversation with Draxus before he realized who he was. Yeah, that too. <sighs> it, it would probably help if I wasn't muted like a fucking... You fool. It's okay. Person. It's okay. We're not normal here. What is normal? Uh, I have uh, no fucking uh, clue. Uh, it's uh. You shut up. A conforming You're the last to a standard, fucking person usual, to that or question. expected, or it's in a technical not, sense. Normal. Uh, you normal. know when two lines are like perpendicular no, no, to each other? No, that's also called no, normal. No. Normal is, right. is a chocolate sundae. Technically, that's a paranormal. That's what it is. I will kill you to death. <laughs> That's usually what killing means. <laughs> <clears throat> he, he's gonna... You see a very visible vein twitch. I honestly thought he would be taller. And <laughs> better looking. Uh, he's going to grab a mug of ale. Drink a little bit. You're talking to mine. me about good looks. I know, um, it's hard to compete with this terrible curse. You had one word, right? Curse. Can we go back to how you just took my ale? Like... I mean... Just continues to drink from it. What? Okay. I would have took it too. What? What are you doing here? Having a drink. Obviously. I, I, Obviously. I think what they mean is, why are you having a drink here with some other people that might want you dead? Yeah, that. Thank you. Oh, will you relax? If I wanted you dead, you'd already be dead. No, we want you Oh, uh, you misunderstand. It's us that might want you dead. And why would that be? You mean? Well, currently, uh, you might be responsible for my wife being in prison. Uh, exactly. You tried to kill her orc. Uh, you're responsible sure. for at least three possible assassinations. Yes. Only uh, three? Well, uh, three currently. First of all, and he's going to take a drink again. Come Norris on. Grimcloud of the Grim Faust Kingdom, let me ask you this. Do you really think I'm the one responsible for your wife being in prison? I mean, Noel well, is magnificent, but I doubt even your brains could think that I would be smart enough to pull that off. So, the fact that the, one of your c colleagues, yeah, I'm going to go with colleagues, says you're the one who attempted the assassination. Oh, he's not wrong. Yes, see, it's because you attempted the assassination that the church and your dear friend, Deimos... Oh, me and Deimos are not friends. 
Yeah, you gave him the what would be the uh, the uh, the fuel to set that fire. And given the fact that, well, uh, um, oh yes, you can hide, and I will circle his face that pretty much perfectly. The fact you got seen seems purposeful. Again, I hmm. will put it this way. Um, I was not aware of your king's condition. That he has extended his life beyond his expectancy. One of my underlings brought this information to me, and when I found out what it had done, or at least where the rumor spread from, the underling is now dead. Believe you me, I do not want to work for that madman in any, in any respect. He perverts the way of Dumos. So, again, if any of my actions had seemed crass or purposeful they were not i was simply doing my duty and i apologize for the consequences of those actions as for your orcish lady friend over here that I was mean, not me come here, armor on her. <laughs> that was not me that was one of my followers being a little too zealous. So, absolutely nothing to do with you, even though it was one of your followers. Why did why did your follower do it? Probably found out what they were up to. Is there anything I should be aware of? Just that she's really cool and awesome, and the guy was probably jealous. Anyway, there was a third thing? I digress. And the third and final thing, I was only here to kill Charles. Certain people have more of an effect on the way things are supposed to be than others. Those are the people I handle. If you will allow me, I'd be more than willing to show you. Does showing mean anyone is going to die? No one or... is going to die. I think he's talking about the relic he found in the temple. Oh, yes, show. Uh, he is going to hold his hand out to you, Norris. That's kind of... Huh. What what's he kind holding close. out to me? His hand. Kind of uh, I'm gonna regret oh, this. I'm gonna regret this. Uh, I will take the hand. <laughs> As you um, do so, step. your mind begins to flood with images. He is sharing some of his memories with you. You see a younger-ish version of him stumbling upon the temple in the sky. Or, yes, the temple in the sky. Finding the cloak and the, the visions that he had so elegantly received. You see death, that black goo overcoming everything, and standing at the heart of it all are is a silhouette of a warforged, big wings. You see a silhouette of a human. You see a silhouette of a Goliath in holy robes. And at the end, you see the silhouette of this 
unholy, undead abomination before the vision cuts and he is simply kneeling on the floor of this temple, praying. And then he hears the voice of Dumos. These are your targets, assassin. Find them. As the visions leave your mind and you are back where you were sitting. Okay, you said a human and a Goliath in holy robes? Uh, no. Love David and the Goliath? A, a, uh, sorry, a noble human. Noble human? A, a noble, a noble oh. looking uh, human. Imagine, a um. Warforged with wings. Um, a Goliath in holy robes. And a undead monstrosity. Well, we, know we got one of those. In holy robes. So we know. And an undead monstrous. I I'm taking notes from my. Go for it. I'm pretty I, sure I, we I already know but okay. what, who all you, of those you, people are. We know uh, two. Yeah. You know two of them. Two of, we oh. know two of the targets. Oh, yeah, duh. You, um, do. When I say silhouetted, I mean you can see a vague outline of what they would be, but. Their overall facial features, clothing, everything would be black. No like an actual gender. silhouette, a shadow. Yeah. No, no gender can be determined from the human? No, no gender can be determined. Was there but... a monk that got kidnapped human? No, the monk was an elf. Okay. Oof. Okay, I just gave up trying to spell monstrosity. That'll work. As long as you can read it. It's your notes. Yeah, so... Well, I've got good news. I'm pretty sure... Hold on, let's see how smart I'm going to be after this. Do, 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 do. Just do that. Was he just, like, staring off into space, or did he look like he was, yeah. like, having a... Uh, oh, it looks like I'm Dave? having a seizure. Uh, no, I'd say to the rest of the party, this was instantaneous. Oh, okay. You just grabbed his hand and immediately but, go like, bro, where is he? That's funny. We, 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 we probably know this, the shift in facial expressions after he comes out of it. Yeah. Because it's probably similar to the shift we had when we got the vision from touching the amulet. Mm-hmm. So we know oh, he's seen visions. something. I'm fairly sure we know two of those. I can guess at the third. Which would mean... The fourth is most curious. What's your guess for that? Indeed. I assumed that the, the, um, the third one was your king. Because, oh. and, you know, Norris, roll a religion check for me real quick, because you would have had a glimpse at some of the walls in that temple. If you can't... Um, some of the depictions on the walls were people who were trying to avoid death were obsessed with the thing that would destroy all. Our king is, well, he's not avoiding death. He's just old and, like, right? He, he's, yeah, he's, he's been just... brought back, but he's not, like, planning to be immortal as far as we know, right? No, he, he, he is not planning to be it, immortal. He, he, have it, he hasn't extended his lifespan. He's just prevented himself from dying when other people would want him yeah. to. Which would mean that more than likely he's... Oh, technically, <laughs> technically, um, sorry, Norris, but I wanted to clear this up. He has technically extended his life. Yeah, but it's his not... His life is, he... was supposed to end on a battlefield way back when, but the clerics and stuff, uh, more in particular, Deimos' church kept bringing them back. 
Yeah, but he he's not gonna die, he's not gonna like live past a no old age that would kill most humans. No, but it's that early indication that you know leads to that he's kind crying. of thing. Our king isn't obsessed with his immortality, so I do not think it's him. Obviously, the large one with the wings is Charles. That tall one was probably Deimos. Is it Deimos or Deimos? Deimos. Deimos. The last one might be that knight we saw that took, and I kind of glance over, <clears throat> the bear king's hand. As far as the noble, I'm not sure yet. But given how things are looking, we might find the answers sooner than we'd like. Um. So, as as a DM, what were your um your assumptions? The Goliath is Demos. The uh, the, the Goliath Warforged. Is yeah, yep. the, the Warforged war is, is Charles. Charles. The, the undead is the undead knight. The undead is the knight. Uh, uh, Norris. I I was not very specific. Um, the vision you would have seen the individual was not wearing. Um, just to help you. Um, because I feel like I didn't convey this well enough. The un the undead abomination was not wearing armor. And the it was, was bigger than a normal person. It was sleek with what looked like parts of its body already becoming undead, but some of it not being undead. It, the it's a lich. Ah. Uh. Oh God! It's question, almost like the question is: in a world where it's undead are rare, would any of you actually know what a lich is? Yeah, <gasps> it's it's, uh, so it's the a the only thing. Prophecy. Yeah, the only thing we have to work off of from that night is that he was generating undead. Well, here's the thing: would there have ever been liches at all in history? What? Recorded? No. Well, yeah, they weren't recorded. We don't have cameras. Go, go to your, go to your corner. corner. I'm in that corner. <laughs> go to the closet, the small closet. What kind no, of role that's the that... closet. What kind of role would that even be to determine if we did know it? Yeah, it, I wouldn't yeah. know what a lich Sam, is, Sam, but Sam, we know that knight Sam, is undead and he's extremely powerful. So my character Sam, would make that connection. Sam basically said we wouldn't know because they aren't in recorded history. Again, it, the concept of undead armies and zombies and stuff like that, like you guys have experienced, have not been a common enough occurrence. Necromanc ne necromancers aren't a thing in this world. Um... Okay. Or they're not somebody popping. Nord. Probably me. Yeah. Talk for me a little bit, Nord. Yep. There we okay. Go. <clears throat> Basically, my character's okay. assumption for this is this is the only undead that we have seen that could probably rival what we're looking at. Get, get things, but... uh, just, just for a quick perspective. Um, basically, in your world, necromancers and undead are basically... Uh, a rare fairy tale that's told around a campfire like maybe once in a... basically like yes or before can basically, i know what yeah. a lich is because i'm cool no okay go, go back to the closet so <clears throat> with all that in mind i don't think anyone in my universe or my world would know what a lich is. Probably my universe, yeah. Pro but my world, no. But yeah, no. Our our best definition, because we know the knight was, be, was creating the, the undead. Yeah, pretty much. The knight was creating undead. 
So yeah, th this is. It's not me saying it's that guy. It's me saying it's probably that guy because that's all we've seen so far of yeah. anything that could rival one of the others in this group it's so closest, far. It's the closest thing we have to go off of right now. I now, I don't want to. I want to tell you right now, this is not the guy who's the lich. Yeah, but I yeah, want no. you to get an idea of who, what the body frame was like. Yeah, a um, tall, skinny, rotting corpse. Uh, more Vecna. Oh, great. My friend thinks you're Vecna a bastard. Arms. I told you, you're not. It's not him. Vecna is not in this game. I will tell you that with a hundred percent. But the body, like what you would saw the silhouette of, was that body type. So, uh, essentially, we know who two of them are. We don't know who the human or the undead is. That's the simplest thing to just state right now. Exactly. Okay, let's move on, then. And Stop now you bogging see... down. And now you see why I targeted your king. Or anyone <sighs> who's wishing to extend their life, for that matter. As far as I know, my king has never... How can I word this? He's not been trying to live longer, like, purposefully. And more than likely, when he has children, right? Like, I, like the, I assume. He has no children. Ooh. Oh... That's why I, Deimos probably has so much power over him. No, that's why Deimos had my wife arrested. Fucking eye twitch. <laughs> Which means the reason Deimos probably had that little rumor put out was so that the only other person that could take the air throne should <clears throat> something happen to his eminence it would probably be him at this point uh norris with your knowledge um the next noble family with the highest power would take over for the king if he has no rightful heirs which would be your wife's family under normal circumstances however right now yeah. it is the breva family take... And as far as I know, the Brevas weren't, you know, that crazy. Oh no, Gosling <laughs> Breva the Third is making life a living hell for Deimos right now. Yeah, they're working with us, so I doubt they're involved. Which means more than likely, his involvement with our kingdom was probably pure... What would be the word? Circumstantial? Unless there's any other royal family that has... Decent ties with him. Possible, that's good, but that's a good question. Is there one after it was the one that after them? Or is there no other candidate? Uh, the one after them, after the Breva family, uh would be the Grimcloud family. Okay. We hold no property. After that one? Uh after that one it would be the Austros family. They are simple clothing merchants, but uh, due to the boom that's going in the uh, western direction in the desert of a location that Norris is not familiar with, so I'm not going to share that bit of information, they have made a name for themselves and gained enough reputation to be considered nobles. Anyway. Matters we will have to deal with at another time. Let's try to yeah, stay so I don't on believe the what's fourth important. member. Uh, yeah, I don't believe the fourth member, this noble per se, is from our region. At least not my kingdom. However, with everything that's been going on in these kingdoms, it could be he's from here, or one of the neighboring kingdoms. The problem is Charles was easy enough to track down, but 
the okay so my theories as it were we all know in that vision well i'm sorry but i can't share the vision with you all norris here has the best acclamation towards my abilities if that makes any sense that's fine. I would like if you could give me any sketches of the temple, though, later, Norse. I might As, be able um, to piece some more this. together with my knowledge. As Norris, he begins to flip a psychic dagger in his uh, hands when he says that you have the same acclamation as him, and you can see it. Nobody else can. It just looks like he's moving his fingers. Uh, I was wondering about that. Uh, We're going to have a talk later, but... Given the... Circumstances, we can... Guess... That that fourth one, the abomination, the rotting corpse... Might be the one in armor, but I can't be certain, as the only people that have seen that closely have been, well, her father, and I guess his father, at looking at the goblin, which... Uh, actually, the only people to get close to that death knight were uh, Sven and Solyndris. Our monk. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, the gunslinger didn't he, get uh, close. The, the, no, the, the gunslinger, gunslinger was got... dealing with the normal undead. No, uh, if you remember correctly, the gunslinger cannot step into a territory that is not deep-seated with hatred and the need for revenge. This need did not come or pray arrive until after the city was already raised to the ground. Yeah. Okay. So he got there after that. So we can't verify that yet. There is also a... What would be the... We can. Why would Deimos send you after? I get the undead. I get. I, I get the construct. But. And I get Deimos. But why a human that hasn't achieved it yet? That seems. Out of place? does and uh, again these were visions from Nomos himself so i'm not one to contradict the teachings of a god i'm assuming all those four i'm assuming the four entities you guys have been talking about all have some effect on the vision that we all had of that oh, thing most that shows definitely up. in Norris, in his vision, he did not see the thing that you guys saw. He just saw the black goo. If, uh, yeah. if you guys can, if he can give you memories of stuff he saw, could you show him the events we are supposed to go and deal with? You want to give it a shot? I'm going to regret this. Yeah, let's, uh, let's have an aneurysm. Let's have an aneurysm. Let's have an aneurysm. Roll an intelligence save. I'm actually 50. Oh, God. Uh, let, let me just. Not too soon. Uh, 16. 16, much better. So the DC was 15. This is too nice left. This was to control the flow of memories, if that makes any sense, to give him specific ones. So he's not asking me, how did you get your leg to twist like that? Is Who's fourth? Where's the fifth leg coming from? Oh, God. Oh, oh sorry. Wrong memory. That's my wedding night. What? <laughs> no. So his mind begins to flood with images of that thing in the final battle with that thing 
um, but cutting off right before whatever it presumably is taking on its final form. As the visions fade from his mind and re into yours, he fucking holds his bloody goddamn hell. What the fuck was that? You remember the ooze from your vision? Yes. That is what makes it. Which means, whoever these four individuals are, I believe they are creating that thing accidentally, or worse, intentionally. Oh, my fucking gods, it's worse than I thought. It always is. Doubling down on my convictions, thank you for that. It gets worse because Deimos is also in is the one currently in possession of the relic that gave us all that vision. You, you have the me. other. Deimos has believe, a relic. Yes, and I believe there's Not a of our. We didn't want him to have it, but yes, he does. <sighs> okay. Well, firstly. That's bad fucking news. Secondly, good luck getting the third relic. We kind of have to. It's being guarded by the Archdruid of the Ocean. Good luck. Ah, yes, her again. She keeps coming up in conversations. We're going to have to go say hello to her. Uh, well, I'm assuming a druid, how if anyone might understand visions of a being about to destroy the entire world and would be willing again, to maybe help. Again, good luck. That woman is simple minded and carefree at So all is times. that one. So is yeah. that, that one that's so I point over at our barbarian. We have that one points to the very bad CEO, that one. <laughs> I mean, trust me, I know where you're coming from there. But either way, we have to deal with her. And that brings us back to your relic. I'm guessing your relic is some type of veil? In a word, yes. It has been touched by Dumos to guard me from the ever-looming sight of destruction. If that in religious terms, but in people terms, it makes it to where nothing can see me. Nothing but magical pissed off that's, gnome. That's not true. So I thought. But I guess the cloak From of doom most cannot the... hide one's soul now, can uh, it? Yeah, I was wondering if, like, Brynwood, you gave us the information about that schematic. Oh, um, I, I'd assume, yeah. You wrote it all okay. down. It's in your notebook. Yeah, I have it all. I have it all in yeah, my so fucking I... little journal thing. I'd just show it to you. Yeah, from what our artificer told us, the helmet he's wearing somehow allows him to see souls. Uh, that would explain why he can see me. You have a soul. Sorry. Braggy. Hey, Technically, Can everyone you deal with does on it as she drags Tomo <laughs> off my <laughs> head. <here. laughs> I, I like how I call her the wife, and Bragg is just like, yep. Oh, God. Bragg, you remember, just tell, remember, just tell me when I can set up the ceremony. Raggy is going to drag you, Como, over to the bar stool and order a couple drinks. Everything. Okay, sure. I'm oh my licensed. god. Uh, <laughs> never, nevertheless, <laughs> the fact that he can see me means I no longer have the element of surprise. And we can assume that Deimos can already see through your cloak as well. Actually, Deimos um... cannot see me. Hmm. I spent an so entire has... I spent an entire week in your lovely kingdom after that assassination attempt just to see it, the ba- the boundaries of who can see me and who can't see me. I see spent three days see you, under or... Deimos's nose and nothing. 
You were so either he couldn't see you or he just didn't care. He didn't see you as a threat. Doubtful, considering his name's on my list. Uh, trust me, the man threatened it could have had us all, you know, mocked as enemies of the state, but he considered us so little. All he pretty much did is throw my wife in prison and, well, stole his parents' corpses, technically. That's... Damn, I'm sorry about that. Yeah. We weren't big enough threats for him to have killed. We were so little threats, he sit there and publicly bragged about it. Sounds like him. It is quite refreshing <laughs> to run into some people that don't buy into that whole facade bullshit. Believe me, it's... It's hard when you learn that your entire life is just a lie. Welcome there, there, the buddy. Another round for the cleric. Welcome to the what? religion of Dumos. I was a high priest. A lot of those. I was born but into this... it. My father gave his life for it. And this is None what we get. did like that. Again, Searle, the High Priest is only one rung lower than the Head Archivist, which is your mentor. So, he must have done some pretty good things in the name of Dumos in order to attain that level of uh, respect in your religion. Or former religion, I should say. But were they really good? A lot of high priests were really good people. They went out of their way to help anyone that they could. Yeah, I know. It's just... It's in Searle mindset here right now. He's not sure if, like, if the church was ever doing any good or if the entire time it was just a ploy. And everything just forwards his goals. It's probably but a little it, it, both. It, it doesn't... This is all stuff Searle's keeping inside right now. Mm -hmm. Which eventually will probably explode, and that will be interesting when that happens. Right. But remember, every member of Death's Embrace, well, the heads are uh, former high priests of the Church of Dumo uh, Dumos. <laughs> and this used to be one of the heads of Death's Embrace before he went cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Which you're f oh, finding oh, out... Oh. He didn't go crazy. He was just given a holy mission. There's also one. You can't tell me someone with that level of undeath could go unnoticed. See, the fourth one. I, I, I mean, undead are new to me overall, but it... the man was rotting. It might uh, depend on the magics. Trust me, I've if, been if, looking for him. Go if ahead, there's sir. Magics, if, sorry, if there's magics like that cloak that allows him to go complete unseen, he might be using some form of high magic to hide his true form from anyone he's interacting with. I have been all around this world. The kingdoms of the north... To the kingdoms of the south, the eastern, the western. Hell, I've been to the kingdom under the waves of the western ocean, where the arch druid lies. I have never seen that that one's influence anywhere. Now, There's either also... it's not here yet, as we've seen with Charles, because he was not originally that warforged. Either they're That's not here yet, he or might... they're very good at hiding. He might be still dormant, waiting until to wake up. Because an entity like that would not go unnoticed, so he might be the final one to wake. So the dominoes have yet to fall on that one. There's and... also one other issue. 
That also I could go sad. for the noble human. The noble human could not be in play yet. And that's why we don't know I about was... him. Correct me if I'm wrong here, DM. I was sent to the uh, kingdom of Asimar to find a noble that was funding that war, right? Yeah. We never figured out who that was. Nope, because you thought it was, you immediately thought it was the Breva family when it was not. Yeah. Well, that was what you told me to suspect, so that's what yeah. I suspected. Yeah. We are did, did the human noble is already. With us? Yeah, no, I never told anyone. So this is the party going to learn this. We already know that the human is active. He was the one funding, or at least partially funding, the war effort for the Demos. I was sent to investigate it under the assumption it was one of ours. But with this evidence and everything we have learned, we can assume that Noble that was funding that is most likely this same one in the vision. Does anyone in the party actually have a quill and pen? Me. I uh, <laughs> um, the, the, I, I was at the... The, the uh, librarian does. I, was I have a at... lot of papers. I was actually at the city of Azamor before it fell, right under your noses, actually. Be surprised how many times I've run into you without you knowing. The noble was not there, or at so least during our missions, my detective that's work. That's not surprising. Yes, I figured that out as much as well. More than likely, whoever it is is damn good at keeping themselves hidden. I found no evidence while there. Regarding who it was. Neither did I. And given who I was t informed it, they believed it to be, and has been basically shit-canning Domos, and Demos and his little church in Grimfaust, it's most likely someone outside of our kingdom. Otherwise, uh, I'm sure Lord. they would have had to... Yes. Did you ask for paper and ink? Uh, not yet. Okay. <clears throat> but it's most likely someone outside of our kingdom. Otherwise, I'm sure they would have spoken up in his defense. Of course, they could be smart, but when are they ever that smart? Uh, the Breva family, not... Breva the second. Highly intelligent. The sun, not so much. <laughs> yes, but uh, the Brevas both have been helping us keep him locked and keyed. So I doubt they're responsible. Uh, I, I will look at Cyril. Can I have a qu quill and paper so I can copy them symbols? You might be able to help us with that. I'm not a holy man. But I will, I will pull out a piece of papyrus, a raven's feather quill, and a vial of black ink and a vial of blue ink, and put them on the table for you. By the way, Norris, I figure this would probably be the best time to tell you, but I, I kind of did you a favor by not pulling the trigger on Doom. Uh, pulling the yeah, the trigger because crossbows have trigger. Pulling the trigger on Deimos when I could have very well done it. It seems uh -huh. he has fail safes in place that would bring about a lot of people's demise, your wife included. I figured as much. He's been, from what we learned, he's been plotting this for over 500 years. He has it in place to where if he dies of unforeseen reasons, evidence will suddenly spike up ac accusing your wife and your father of his death. Uh, knowing and father, he'd probably be able to get away with it. But the evidence that I saw, no. 
no one uh, you misunderstand. Away from I don't the, mean the, the, get away with the, the actual crime. He would literally just get away. Yeah, probably. The, the, um, the only the way wife, to though, unfortunate. The only way to maybe yeah. get rid of it would be to make the scene of his death so public and so undeniable that any evidence that comes out would just be unbelievable. Or, but I think the only way to do that would be have a dragon fly in the city and swallow him whole. And I don't see that happening. Or, counterpoint. Norris, how many champions does Grimfaust have? Uh, DM? Zero. That would be zero. No, don't. In part in my interest in champions and such, Jeremiah, who do the champions report to and have the greatest influence over? That would be the king of the city that we are stationed in. Exactly, so, Drax's state. You're, su you're suggesting us becoming the champions of the city or... Finding a group that can become the champions of the city. Exactly. And in uh, doing are so... On our side. And in doing so, you would secure higher influence to the king over Deimos. Because as it is, champions are the king's right hand. And, and... for that very reason, they have more power over a kingdom than the king himself sometimes. And the, and the king of Grenfell's would definitely not take information coming to light like that at face value. He would send someone to investigate it. Exactly. And most likely a champion. And right now, our kingdom is on the brink of war. There have been multiple assassination attempts. Reports of a vast undead army. And hostile and then i kind of look over at the uh the prince that i guess he would be a prince champion uh, yeah. and uh an enemy faction sitting on our borders who's the problem, though, is for war. one of the problems though is if we go and try to get the positions of champions of the city deimos would definitely make a move to try to impede us he can Demos make those... can't leave the church. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. We have... Ha My father has been busy keeping him literally locked in the temple. If we were to meet with the king, Deimos could not directly interfere. At best, he could have an advisor there. But by the time the advisor got back to him, which I could make take very long time in my city. Who says I'm the advisor? Just, I'm just pointing out with how long he's been around and how <laughs> much he plans. We need to be aware that if we are the ones becoming the champions of the city, he will definitely. I, I would like to point out who action. says the advisor will ever make it back to him. Oh, yes. Like I said, it could take a long time to walk back to that church. Or not Terrible. walk back at all. You could trip, fall, and never get up. Pity. You know, flash you a knowing <laughs> smirk. You know, it only takes six inches to fall to your death. Only six? I've had three. Mine's longer than that. Go to your room. <laughs> Just crawl, crawl into the tiny closet and think about... Braggy! <laughs> <laughs> I'm still at the bar <laughs> with her. <laughs> but nevertheless, my I, I point was, still I, I was about stands. To say your best they... bet to gain influence. And here's another interesting perk of champions that Jeremiah can probably attest to. Jeremiah, who would secede the crown should there be no nobles worthy enough to fit it and jeremiah is going to peep up that would be one of the champions if they have noble birth in their blood norris does so 
Oh god. Sounds like Please don't we're ever, doing ever next. bring that up to my mother. Technically, you have three. I'm pretty sure she will already know. Three. Well, yeah. Technically, we have, we have the princess. Who's the third? Como. Huh? Como's royalty? Como is a noble in the city of Praetoria. No. No, I'm not really going to tell you that. They, they can't run the business. How would they handle a king? <laughs> I'm just, just going to bust out laughing. Oh, God, no, I wouldn't do that to your people. <laughs> I, I don't think it'd be the word. I mean, it might be, you know. Hmm. Hey, and then I'm going to turn and look at Braggy. Braggy! Braggy! You're now a princess! Oh, I don't mind that at all. Always been a princess. Thank you for finally noticing. <laughs> you misunderstand. <laughs> but, uh, no. The, uh, we, we, we won't do that to your people. That's uh, just cruel. But we could. Uh, no, He's talking you about misunderstand. Grinch house. So it would be your people. Yeah. No, nah, no. No. All this shit talk about hiring my workers! I'm gonna get your Oh no, I will them. hire your workers. They're good people. You are a trash no, person. No, but I'm saying, you're gonna- You keep trying to take over my company and take all my workers. I'm gonna take your fucking kingdom. <laughs> work for me! You work for me, I'm, I'm sorry, um... <laughs> my family is nothing but spies and assassins. I'll get it for a day! I'll get it for a day no. before I die! <laughs> I'll, I'll put it to you this way. What Draxus is trying to explain is that in the Grimfaust Kingdom, if your wife's family cannot secede to the throne, the Brevas can't, and your family can't, then it will fall onto the champion with noble blood. Which we have the option of three. Yep. Yeah. So... Which would be you, Bellatrix, and Como. That we know Dude. of right now. Fight and to the death. I would be the one that would be a s given it because I'm the most direct link. If I die, it would go to the other two. Como, anyway. technically, because Como has ties to this land. Technically ties to the And Bellatrix kingdom. is being raised to be the queen of the north, so it yeah, would fall so to Como. I would fall to Como in that I'm assuming this country and your country would kind of merge and become even powerful. That's not too many people we'd have to kill. I mean, what? Braggy. <laughs> Just twist your ear. Ah, ah. I thought you'd stop doing that once we were nope, together. Nope, nope, It's the only way to keep you in line, dear. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I love that I, woman. I, 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 I thought you were saving that until the honeymoon. Oh, no. Oh, oh, Braggy, Braggy. Uh... In my bag, there's some silk rope. Uh, trust me. No, 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 I... Just pulled <clears throat> out alchemist fire. I what? have candles. Oh. Oh. Looks at no. the cleric. Uh... I read books at night. I didn't think you were into that. <clears throat> but still. You'll be certain... You'll be surprised the number of stuff you have to learn to do rituals for different cultures. You'd be surprised <laughs> what the followers of Dumos are into nowadays. I know I would. I have some <laughs> stories. <so. clears throat> Apparently the things Braggy's into as well. Good for her. I'm gonna still... go... Yeah, back. Good for Braggy, <laughs> bad for Como. Yeah, good for Braggy, bad for Como. Oh, there is bad. also one other... That brings whole new definition oh. to playing with fire. I'm so fucked. Literally. At least she's sticking. <laughs> at least she's sticking to. At least she's sticking to fire. She's a chemical expert. Oh yeah, she, she probably has make some a lot cooling of gel too. Fire. I, at least I wear armor most of the time. Won't uh, show. I was referring to maybe making SD or you know narcotics oh. or shit like that. She's already okay. making oh, yeah, LSD for the new. fucking Memorial yeah. Fest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everyone gets high here. The uh, 
he's gonna there's one other hmm, how can I put this particular issue we know Damos can teleport most likely has been doing so out of the church there's no way we're going to be able to stop that as far as I know oh no that I I've already put a stop to that oh thank you for that then we also uh, have he, he tried to teleport out the first week of his and he's gonna put up air quotes house arrest uh, funny thing about magic sigils, they can be an awfully fickle thing, and one wrong inscription here, or one misinscribed room there, and nothing well, no. works. Oof. In fact, okay, some would cool. say it Thank you. might blow up. Thank you. As long as nothing works, I do not want to see another priest being bisected in half by a miscast of a teleportation circle. That was a mess to clean. Hmm. Then there's also one other... Unfortunately, we will have to deal with this arch druid. Can you give us directions? Uh, Rhea. Hmm. In order to get to her, you need to find a very particular water creature. It is her familiar, and it is the only thing that will lead you to the ever-moving arch druid that is Drea. Good news is it's pretty easy to find. Bad news is you'll probably be swimming your way back. I might be able to design some spells that could help us with that. Oh, what else it is take, new? It would take some time, so we could probably work on getting our reputation in Grimfaus up. Yes. Why I do that. But, again, this familiar is known to destroy ships. It's a giant turtle. Can I make a history check on see if I have any knowledge of Nature. island turtles? Uh, oh, I it's turtle. a turtle! Norris, man, a fucking giant turtle in the middle of the ocean? The fuck's it doing there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, turtles belong on land, man. So, they belong on <laughs> land. <laughs> Girl, buddy, man. <laughs> This is the first I time you're hearing about a first. giant turtle. It, honestly, you're wondering if magic is the re is one of the causes. Alaric, <laughs> let's go! Alaric with a fucking 19 to save the day. Alaric knows he's turtle! That would know about it, considering in his background he has traveled a lot. Not only that, but he was mentored by one of the people in her party. Oh, yeah. well. Alaric, this makes sense for you, because, again, you were mentored you by the man. You heard stories about this familiar. Your mentor called it a dragon turtle. Oh, yeah, the, the dragon turtle. Yeah, that makes sense. Find the dragon turtle? How does a creature of that size even maintain itself? By eating. <laughs> Turtles belong on land, right? Tortoises. I think that's what. Uh, oh no! I think, I think they think can do. I, I think they. I think they can do both. Turtles, Turtles. Can do both. Both. usually, but they crave more of a. A pond, or maybe a lake? I've never seen one in the ocean before. Have you never heard of sea turtles? And, uh, well, that is very true. But, have you... Counterpoint, have you ever seen a sea turtle with an island on its back? House Tiny and one. everything. We, we are talking about the things that can roll up into shell-like balls and roll across the ground, right? So yeah, that's that Sonic. This right. We no, have to find. Sarah literally just confused a turtle and an armadillo. Oh. 
We have to find a giant floating pissed off boat eating turtle. Survive it. And then I guess ride it to wherever the archdruid is. Yes. Yeah, that sounds about right. So we need a way of communicating with a giant turtle monster. And a way of moving across the water. I have two spells I have to try to invent. And Noma, she's just going to say, yeah, no, no, uh, we're going to die. And no Listen, how different is a giant turtle back. to a giant robot? Come on, have more faith. Have you met these people? None of us have any nautical experience. No, I'm people... pretty sure that one pointing to uh, Como will sink if they touch water. I can swim, kinda. Do you speak gnomish? Oh, shit. And Drax will at me? respond back. Have a little bit of faith. You were set on this path by Dumos. Uh, and to be fair, I know just about everything about all of you. What the fuck? I mean, he's a spy and an assassin. You've met me, Como. You should know that by now. I. It's still weird. Como, I know just about everything I need to know about you, more than anybody I, here. I, I don't like that tone, like, at all. Oh, more than Braggy? Uh, yes, more than Braggy. What's oh. my Braggy, full name? He's got secrets. What's your, my full name? Your full name. Give me one second. <laughs> it's, wait, I don't Hold think on. I actually. I, uh, you I did, you wrote it down. Okay, I good. Had to I had to check to make sure I had it, but in no miss, I would say I have read about sailing, so. We're all gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got it. He, he, he does not touch the wheel. Your if full name, <laughs> Como, is Commodus Aurelius. Oh, what the f- oh. Yeah, um, that is I like so that. fucking edgy. You made <laughs> fun of my name? <laughs> How dare you? I, 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 I chose it. It's fucking... If I remember correctly, it was your father who gave you that name, not your mother. What? Oh, I'm gonna make fun of your father for choosing that name. Oh, or... please do. Oh. oh, now I hate it more. Brag is gonna. I actually like it. Now I really like it. Sorry, I misspoke. Um. <laughs> Como, your simp is showing. I. <clears throat> um. <laughs> well, and what he... do you what do you know about the others? <laughs> anyway, I know about uh... your mother and what really happened to her. I know who sent you that <clears throat> note. We, we do you, hmm. Do you know who left the uh, scratches on her mother's grave? Well, I Indeed know that I one. do. We don't. We really don't need to talk about this anymore. Well, what do you know about the others? That's much more interesting. Well, for starters, Charles was the one who really replaced that gunpowder that killed your we... mother and blew up your business in flames. Cool. You're you're really you really proved your point. Um I also know that the one who sent you that note was Charles as well. Wait, what? To get you Wait, to I thought leave. that was No, why would Solindris send you that note? She was on I your don't know. side. Yeah, what? that would explain why she hated you even more for just leaving. Wait, I thought she hated me because I I can't take these like any more peoples. I think I'm going to vomit. Solindris was on your side. She was close she... to finding Charles. She hated me. And then she got sent to the city of Vazimor. Oh. Well, uh... 
fuck, I was such a dick to her. And she didn't even give her dental. To, to be honest, you're a dick to most people. To be fair, the yeah, okay. monastery doesn't operate within the confines of this kingdom. They have oh. their own business and in infrastructure t as a whole. Yeah, it's but not my fault she damn dental. It's, again, it's... Again, Lady Cylindris was on your side the entire time, Como. Why didn't she say anything? I thought I was alone for like a because year. Because if she said anything, it would tip Charles off. <sighs> Fuck Charles. I thought I that mean... was the point. No, that's you not. Could... No. I think you'd have to accuse for the height difference between you. I. And I think Bradley no, wouldn't right. be happy about it either. No, oh, you, not you, at all. you 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 meant in that way. I more meant in the you know way that our barbarian usually does, which is snapping someone in half. Yeah, no, that one, that one, that one. I want you that. But regardless, now you know the truth. How many times have I heard that these past two days? Well, maybe if you okay. actually paid attention, she, you would have she, learned it sooner. What? The fact that. I you, fucking... you really want to you really want to talk about finding out the truth with our group. I I just stare at Como how fucking long did it take of me telling you, hey, perhaps you should look before you finally fucking clicked. Okay, I looked every fucking time. To to be fair to Como. They did take more after their mother. And that is the utmost compliment. You sure about that? Thank, thank you. Uh, anyway, I guess we have a plan of action now. Yes. And why we're working on becoming champions and dealing with a giant turtle. Guessing you're probably going to continue trying to track down these people? Oh, yes. Uh, I'm probably not going to go after Charles for a while, because based on his trajectory, he went to Astoria. Oh. Well, well, if you... If you do go... Back down to... A, a certain ASMR that was practicing black magic that fled oh, the city. Yes, Zeke. Oh, yeah. We do need to capture him, but he's probably in Astoria. Which is bad news for you, considering he's pretty much royalty over there. In Astoria, <laughs> they don't have a nobles and class system. Whoever it can... It goes off of the strength of magic, right? Exactly. And judging by... Um, hmm, judging by the potency and how powerful soul magic is... Charles is pretty much their fucking king when he gets there. Fucking mm -hmm. king? You could shut up. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of which, no, well, that means it'd be easier to fetch an audience if we need it. But this means it looks like we're going back home. And, unfortunately, well, we need to go that way anyway, because we have a certain amulet that needs to go to a certain one-armed individual. Mm, indeed. One-armed individual. The bear. The the amulet with the that was touched by the bear mother to oh, yeah. us. The the barbarian. Our, our barbarian. No, the other one-armed individual. I forgot he lost an arm. My bad. By the way, <laughs> you're in a city full of people that could fix that. I probably have, have someone. I, I was actually going to ask Jonas if he could uh, build a mechanical arm for him. Yeah, that'd probably be better than having Jonas, me do it. I've never done it before. Mean Jeremiah. Uh, Jeremiah. Damn it! I was Jonas? the Jonas. Jonas brother. The Jonas brother. Jeremiah brother. isn't an artificer. That is the one thing that that is the one thing that puzzles you, Norris, above all else. The royals in this city are not artificers. They're just regular royals. Even the general well, doesn't it, it, 
it makes sense that the people that Which determine what, thinking, what is the people that would determine what is safe or no, not no, safe no, 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 not be the the drunkard that we keep meeting at the bar. Oh, you mean Victor? Oh, Victor. Victor, that's it. Yeah, it's Victor. funny because Victor <laughs> actually has a robot arm. Yeah, that's Thanks. the one I was thinking of. Where the fuck did I get Jonas? It looks like Jonas. We were thinking about Jonas Brothers songs. Who wouldn't think about Jonas Brothers? Yeah, he has a robot arm, a robot leg, and a robotic eye. Yeah, so he would definitely be someone to talk about. But also... Yeah, I need you to make an arm that goes from humanoid to bear. What? (laughs) He would just see that as a challenge. So yeah, I'm going to have that man commissioned for that. But, nevertheless... Make make sure it's solid into uh or uh titanium. But or, uh, no, not not titanium. Adamantine. But, yeah, adamantine. Because we know the king has the friggin' strength to carry that sort of arm. Also, in that case, he can use it to block shit. But nevertheless, you've all earned this day of revelry and the ones to come. I wouldn't worry about Charles for now. He's already at his destination if he was going about as fast as he wanted to. Deimos is under lockdown, so they're not going anywhere. On the bright side, too, with how much damage that armor took, it might take a while to repair. In a city full of magi, I doubt it will take long. Magi that don't know. Magic can do stuff, but it may take longer because they don't have engineers that know how the stuff works. That is bullshit. Artificers from here go there when they want to perform unethical experiments. Yes. Oh, okay. I thought it was like... No, no, no. You forget. I thought it was these, uh, like a direct... Remember, the continent of... This place is only technology... And that place is only arcane magics. The continent uh, that housed pra- houses Praetoria and Astoria was o- was at one point just Praetoria. And it was both magic and technology. Okay. But the people from Praetoria in this city, in this city in particular, split off. So they have technology and yeah, magic. When, when when you said split, I thought it was like a solid split where one culture only uses magic and shuns technology and the other uh one only uses technology and shuns magic. Well, even if that is the case, Charles himself is an artificer by trade. Okay. He needs magic in order to complete his version of soul magic. Because, remember, one of the people down there was a dwarf wizard who was actually a double agent of Astoria. Anyway. But, nevertheless, you've earned your days of revelry and celebration. Your enemies are under lock and key, as it were, for right now, licking their wounds. Enjoy it. For when it is done and over with, you will truly be... Your metal will truly be tested. I really don't want Charles to kill uh, We'll see about that. And I will switch to Thieves Kent. Which does bring up one more question. How did you know about the attack on the SMR city three days before it happened? Asking Jeremiah specifically. Uh, Jeremiah does not know Thieves Camp. Ha! The prince? Oh, I thought you were... Never mind, sorry. Um, I blanked out there for a second. Jeremiah will switch to Thieves Camp. Um, reports show that a double agent of ours that lies inside of, um, Grimfaust, I believe... And yes, don't be surprised. We have agents in Grimfaust. We have agents everywhere. They reported. Kind of just look at him like, yeah, yeah, that's kind of what we both do. We we figure. 
They reported the city being razed to the ground. Three days before it happened? That's what the report says. I've got the report if you'd like to look at it. Indeed, because I have a feeling whoever sent that report is might be playing both sides. Possibly. And Draxus is going to join in the thieves' cant. And whatever may come, you have my services and aid. But we have fe festivals and festivities to enjoy, and I'm not one to turn down a good drink. Oh. I think yeah, I can tell. Quick, quick. He's still holding my mug. Do you know thieves can't coma? Oh shit! Fuck you! No. I want to talk. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> you! Uh, I, I, I'm just, just. She's just glaring at the fucking mug as he's still drinking. Exactly. <laughs> well, good news is there'll be plenty of it, and knowing Braggy. It's going to be a lot of good drugs. Uh, Draxus is going to stand up, walk to the end of the door. Uh, best wishes to you on the festivities, and remember, I've got my eyes on you, so whenever you need aid, just ask. And he's going to throw up the hood and disappear from sight. I know that he's our ally now, but I really, I still don't like him. Good talk. Um, <laughs> where are our plans now? Uh, now it is time for downtime. Ooh. Because the events of this festival are going to take a week to be finished and complete, as well as uh, a couple of calls made from, mm, I'd say. Jeremiah would have made a call for this. So he's got something planned for the memorial as well. So I'm going down to go is down. my favorite flavor of course. I'm going to go down the list of players and see what you would like to do in the spans of a week. We're gonna start with Norris. Uh I'm going to see how much it would cost Victor to make a robotic arm for one of the heroes that can turn into a bear-like form. Or just be a bear-like arm. Bear-like arm, materials, not that. Uh, do you want it to be magical? Sure. It is going to cost roughly about 8,000 gold. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, Victor ain't cheap. And plus, you don't know what that arm can do. Remember, his, his specialty, he's an artillerist. Terrifying, but I know her father would love it, and I can't afford that, and it's not like, oh, my dad's going to kill me. <sighs> <laughs> Would you be willing to send that bill to my father? Is he willing to pay? I'll make sure he does. <laughs> then all right, I'll start work on it immediately. Give me about a week. I'm going to get fucking lynched when I get home. I've got to write a note to my father telling him that I'm having this commission for the hero, the the king of the north, as a... About well, to say, when he learns it's going to the king of the north, he might be a bit more lenient, lenient on you. And, uh, yeah, it's going to the king of the north to help him with the coming battles, yada, yada, yada. And then I'm going to tell him the price at the end, followed by, I love you, please don't disown me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, if anything, he would just look at you and be like, 
you're paying me back out what you earned becoming a champion. <laughs> and I will also, in this report to him, fill him in on the next stage of the plan. And blah, 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 blah. And uh, the rest of the week, I am honestly just going to train with my abilities. Interestingly enough, you will um, be joined mental. by Draxus. Ooh. Uh, you know, those side daggers aren't the only thing you can do, right? Uh, he kind of like uh, stops for a moment and just kind of looks at him and in his head he begins to talk to him. I've figured as much out. And slight nosebleed because I have a shit constitution. He's going to speak into your mind. Allow me to demonstrate. And in his hand will form... It's still good? If it died, then no, it stopped recording.